everybody. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, where we women over 50 use skincare, makeup, and health and fitness to stay in the game. And today I'm so excited to share my before and after pics of my 30 day results using this little guy, the Nira laser device. And I have been blown away by the results and I'm going to be showing you detailed before and after pictures and you'll have to make your own conclusions about it, but I really cannot believe this worked quite honestly. And if you're interested in all things anti-aging, then I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel, clicking the notification bell to get emails of my future videos and giving this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's get into this. And I have been using this for just over 30 days and I have actually not one, but two Two units and the reason is a weird one and that is that the Nira people sent this to me maybe a year and a half ago and quite honestly I did not think it would work and so I had it down in my basement where I use my new faces every morning and I didn't use it but I thought well I'll just plug it in so the days when I want to use it when I start to think I'm going to use this I will have it all plugged in well, I learned something. You cannot plug in a device like this that is rechargeable and leave it plugged in for a long time because it stops working. And that is exactly what that happened with this. And then I was complaining in yet another video about what I call my Marlboro Mans, which is these wrinkles around my eyes. And I can't believe it. I can hardly make them for you now. And that is crazy because I have tremendous amounts or had tremendous amounts of wrinkles under my eyes, myriad wrinkles. I called them Marlboro Mans. But anyway, so this had stopped working, I thought. And so I thought, I want this badly enough. I saw some good videos where people had great results. I wanted it badly enough that I thought I will pay the $300, $275, whatever it was to get this. So I ordered this and I used it for 30 days. And then just the other day, I picked this one up again and lo and behold, it has started to work. Because maybe about a week ago, I unplugged it from the wall and I guess that helped it to kind of come back to its balance again. So I have two. And many of you know, I have two new faces and I use them every morning. However, I don't think I'll use these two at the same time although I'm tempted to, to save time, I have to admit, because you do have to do a little thinking about this. So stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show you my 30 day befores and afters and I think they are really incredible. But before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about this device. This is the Nira laser device and it is designed to treat fine lines and wrinkles to improve the tone of your skin, to get rid of discolorations and to tighten up your skin. It has been FDA cleared for use in the eye area to get the crow's feet. However, I've seen many different YouTubers who are using it on other parts of their faces. And quite honestly, over the 30 days of using this, and you can use it up to twice a day. And most days I did use it twice a day because it only takes like two minutes to do a treatment. It is super, super easy. So I would do it in the morning, just after my toner, I would sit down and do this for two minutes, finish my skincare. And then in the evening, when I was watching TV with Alan, I would make him keep the lights on and I would have my little mirror and I would do the second treatment of the day and some days I would go down around in here but I didn't do that consistently enough but I think I had results down there I mean it is amazing I was getting a lot of big wrinkles down there and they seem to be softened but if you'd like to see a 30-day trial of continuing with the crow's feet and then going down in this area I would be glad to do that but anyway getting back to this this is the Nira laser device and what it does, it's a little laser that is FDA cleared. And I was especially interested in this device because it was created by a man who used to have a company that sold real intense laser devices to clinics all across the country, but he did not like the downtime that was involved. And he really believed he could create a home unit that would be maybe less intense, but bring about the same results over time. And the website says it takes 60 to 90 days to see results. However, I'm going to show you my results in 30 days and I really can't believe them. In fact, as the weeks passed, I was getting excited about it and I was thinking, oh my gosh, I don't think I'm having the crow's feet that I had before. But I thought, surely that can't be the case. And I thought, pictures don't lie. Wait till you take your pictures. And yesterday morning, I took my pictures and I was totally blown away. But what this laser does, it heats up your skin. You just take it about 40 pulses all underneath your eye area. And here is a diagram that they give you, which is just wonderful. And I'll link a video below about how they tell you to do this, but it is super simple. I do it around here and I do count up 40 counts. 
Okay, how you use this is you turn it on and then it has five different power settings and you can adjust the power. You can hardly see that there. There are little green bars there. And when I started, I started on like two, but now around my eyes, I can do four. And sometimes down in this area, I can do four or five, which is amazing. And what this laser does is it sends little shocks of heat to your skin. It really doesn't hurt. And if it does hurt, you should back off to a lower level, but you are just doing 40 pulses around here. And I will show you how it works and I'll do it in my makeup. But when you can hear that, I can feel that heat. It is just heating up there. I better not do this in my makeup. When you do it correctly, you hear it like this. But then when you don't have good contact, you hear this. And so that tells you that you need to redo that spot again. And what I do is I count 40 counts. I start around here and I count all 40 counts. And every time one kind of misfires, which they do, maybe five or six will misfire, I'll hit that spot again and make sure that I get the correct sound. And you can also use it down here. But again, I really didn't do that too much. And I have a lot of wrinkles around here, so I think I will do a 30-day trial of that. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Okay, one more thing. You ought to go to the website and take a look because they have a wonderful way of showing their before and after pictures. Basically, you can slide your cursor over the picture to see the before changing into the after, and it is quite wonderful. And they have 453 reviews of users on their website, and all of those reviews were like a 4.9 and... I own my own company and I know for sure that you can't fake reviews even on your own website. You can't take down bad ones. You can't put up good ones. Once you open up your company for reviews on Google, you just can't fake them and you can't take down bad reviews. So 4.9 with almost 500 reviews is really phenomenal. Okay, now what we've all been waiting for is my befores and afters and I'll show you those now. Okay, here's a look at my full face before February 1st of 22 of this year. And as you can see, I have a lot of wrinkles under my eyes, quite a few. And then in the after picture, as you can see, the wrinkles have really softened up under my eyes. I was really kind of amazed by that. And I have a very hooded lid in the before picture on the left, and it still looks hooded in the after picture. But I kind of think maybe that little flap of skin I have hanging down there in both the before and the after picture may be looking a little less in the after picture. And then on the other eye, which is not hooded, it even appears in the after picture that you can see more of my lid there. That lid seems to be opening up and getting larger. And again, the crow's feet under both eyes seem to be much better in the after picture. And I was using the device sporadically in my nasal folds and also in the marionette line area. And I really think perhaps things are softening up there, but I did not use it enough to really get a good look at the before and after picture. And now let's take a look at those eyes a little more close up. And here is a look at that. In the before picture, as you can see, the crow's feet are really fanning out a long way on either side of my temple area there. Then in the after picture, some of the lines seem to have really gotten less underneath the eyes. And it even looks like in terms of the sagging in sunken look of the before picture, it almost appears like in the after picture that skin is firming up and it is not nearly so sunken and thin looking. And again, you can see a close-up picture of the hooded lid on the left-hand side. It looks like it's a little bit less in the after picture. And then the right lid looks like it could perhaps be a little larger too. Now let's go ahead and take a look at those crow's feet from the side. And here is the left side, which happens to be the side that is closest to the window when I'm driving. So it's a little worse than the right side. I have quite a few crow's feet and they're fanning down the sides of my face there. And then in the after picture, they have lightened up. You can still see them but they're not nearly so heavy as they were before. And I will tell you that I used to use Botox in the crow's feet areas, but I have not used it for like seven or eight months. And in fact, when I started to use the Nera, I felt like, gosh, I need my Botox, but I realized I could not get that. And so I just got on my forehead. I did not get it under my eyes. And the amazing thing is, I think it is really true. I don't think I'm going to have to use Botox anymore underneath my eyes. I can't believe the results I have had. And I've always said that in terms of crow's feet, Botox helps soften them a little bit, but I have never had crow's feet, even using Botox, that looked this smooth. And they're not gone, but they're definitely reduced. And so I think I'm going to quit using Botox there altogether, which is very exciting. But I realized something looking at the pattern of my wrinkles. And that is the crow's feet are pretty important because you get crow's feet here. They start here when you're in your 30s and 40s. And by the way, every year after age 30, we're losing 1% of our collagen and elastin. 
And at my age, that means that my face has 30% less collagen and elastin than it did when I was 30, which is really scary. And that's why the fine lines and wrinkles can really take hold. What I realized is that the crow's feet start here and they gradually work out here. My sister used to think they were cute. She called them fans. But then what happens is they start working their way down your cheeks and that creates the gullies of wrinkles that older women have. And so in my opinion, and I'm no expert, but if you can stop the crow's feet from going any further, then you're going to stop those deep lines and wrinkles from coming down the sides of your face or at least lessen them. And let me show you the other side of my face because I think you'll see what I'm talking about. Here is the right side of my face and look at the crow's feet and the before pictures. And that little arrow there, the bottom arrow, is kind of where that crow's foot ends. And as you can see, it's starting right up under my eyes and it is working its way down clear to about this part of my face. And in the after picture, as you can see, the tail end of that crow's foot is really nowhere to be found. And I still do have some lines under my eyes there, but those crow's feet are definitely shortening up. And I think that's happening as the skin is getting damaged by that little bit of heat so that the skin cells rush in and say, oh, there's some damage here. We need to repair that area. That's how you start growing collagen and elastin again is you give your skin tiny bits of damage. That's why derma rolling works. That's why lasers of all sorts work. And the neat thing about this laser is over time, I think you're getting the same results you get in the office with a more invasive laser procedure, such as a Fraxel laser or even a fully ablative laser. You're getting horrible amounts of downtime with that. But with this little guy, you can do it in your home. It only takes a couple of minutes of time and you don't have that downtime. But over time, you're getting some really phenomenal results. And I think these results are really wonderful. And please let me know in the comment section if you agree with me. But I really cannot believe that this worked as well as it did. I was under the impression that to get results like this, to get your skin to smooth out and actually show a noticeable difference, I was one of these that really thought you had to go into the esthetician's office and have some advanced laser procedure done with two weeks of downtime where you look terrible and you're scared to death, you've ruined yourself. So I was absolutely blown away by this and I totally plan to continue using it. Please let me know in the comment section below the video if you use this and if you've had positive or negative results or if you have any other tools, techniques, skincare preparations that are working for the Marlboro Man area as I call it. We would love to hear that in the comment section. And I do have a discount code below the video that gives you a certain percent off if you'd like to try this out. And I would say if you're going to do this, it may be better to invest in the bundle because what they want you to do, they want you to do the little two minute treatment and follow it up with their hyaluronic acid serum. And I did have to purchase that separately and you get a little bit of a price break if you buy the bundle. So you get the Nera unit and you get the hyaluronic acid preparation. It's really a good way to go if you want to save a little money. Okay, that was a look at my Nera laser experience and I will continue using it and reporting on my results because so far I think they are just wonderful. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging for us 40 plus 50 plus beauties, then I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel, click the notification bell to receive emails of my future videos and consider giving this video a thumbs up. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and normally I read from one of these little cards, but I'm not going to read from a card today. I had an experience in my life that I wanted to share with you, which is I started to let myself go. And I think that happens to us all. You know, we have our little routines and then all of a sudden we get out of a routine for whatever reason and we stop doing the things we know we should. And I basically did that with regard to my getting up in the morning and doing my fitness routine, which also includes my new face. I mean, pretty much that was my beauty power hour and I kind of stopped doing it. And what I was doing is I was getting up in the morning and thinking I would rather go in and work on YouTube because I've been really excited to work on YouTube lately. And then I did that a couple of mornings and I didn't have time for my workout. And then I realized a universal truth and I've been using it ever since. And it has helped me get back on the exercise bandwagon and start doing a lot of things in my life that I know I should do. And that is the idea to always do the hard thing first. Always do the hard thing first. 
And you can use that in any aspect of your life. But over time, that attitude and that action can really help you have a good life and a very happy life. And so what that meant for me is the next morning I got up and I kind of wanted to come in and work here on YouTube. And then I thought, no, always do the hard thing first. What is the hard thing? It's to go down and work out. And so I did that and I had plenty of time when I was finished to come in and do a little bit of YouTube, but I have to say it felt really good to do that hard thing because for the rest of the day, I had that rush of endorphins and I had that great feeling that I had really put my health first. And every day since then, I get up in the morning and I think to myself, always do the hard thing first and nine times out of ten i end up in the workout room so just for today as you're going through the day if you get to work say and you think to yourself i don't want to make those sales calls i'll do it later don't do that say that is the hard thing but by gosh i'm going to do the hard things first and i'm going to make those seven sales calls and then do the fun things and when we do the hard things first we're doing those things we know we should do and when it comes time for the fun things, we can really enjoy them guilt-free. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.